Hello, this is Pastor Scott J. Cruz from The Rock, and this is The Deeper Rock, an augmentation of the message that happened last week at The Rock Talk. And today we are looking at the Gerber artifact, was The Rock Talk last week, and it was the um, uh, understated excellence. And so today we're going to look at how to do that a little bit. Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 30, we find the parable of the talents. Please read that on your own. Jesus is sharing this story with, with the crowd and a master gives ten talents to one person. He invests them well and the master comes back and says well done and he gives him ten more. He gives different amounts all the way down to he gives somebody one talent. And the guy that he gives one talent, the guy buries it, he doesn't do anything with it. He just buries it in the ground. And so when the master comes back, he says, where's my talent? And he says, oh, I just got this one talent, where everybody else had, had more talents as a result of what they were doing. And, uh, and he got in trouble and thrown out with his weeping and gnashing of teeth. Here's the more of the story. Use what God gives you, and then you get more. Be faithful in the small things, and God will give you big things. I've always considered myself to be a three-talent guy. I'm sure not a ten-talent guy, but there are some things that come easier to me than other people. So I've always thought, you know, Scott, you're probably kind of a, a three-talent kind of guy. But I've always used what I had. You know, when the Lord gave, has done something with me, I've been quick to go out and, and the Lord has done neat things in my life as a result of that. So I got some things, some tips I want to give you coming off of this verse. Number one, don't skimp on the small things. God may be using those small things to test your resolve. And if you do good on the small things, in God's kingdom, you get bigger things. You get, you get more responsibility. And use God's example. Don't give responsibi big responsibility to somebody who has not been faithful in small responsibility. And, and so if, if someone has not proven themselves faithful, don't give them lots of responsibility yet. And we do that in the church a lot. I mean, because I'm so grateful for a volunteer. Somebody has never been in the church before, they've never volunteered before, they've never done anything before, and they say well, they want to do something, and I'm so grateful for the help. I'm like, yes, please, come help us. And then they're not faithful, and they drop the ball, and that, it just, it, it, it creates, it works against excellence. And uh, so I want to encourage you to do good on the small things, and use God's example. Don't give responsibility to somebody who's not proven themselves. And I also want to encourage you to use God's example, that if you have given responsibility to somebody, um, that you would be willing, if, that, if it's dropped and it's not done well, to take that back again. And to say, no, I guess you're not the guy for this. And we don't do that very well in the church. Again, because we're so glad to have a volunteer, whether they actually do the job or not. And we don't want to offend anybody, and we don't want conflict. At The Rock, we want excellence in every possible way. And so we want to be a people that are faithful in the small things. And, you know, I, I am aware of somebody who's been, who's in, uh, uh, you know, they, sometimes someone will church hop because they want to be involved in ministry. And there's one person that they was church hopping from church to church until they could find one that would let them lead worship. i got to tell you, that just chafes on me. I think that you should just serve God with your whole heart in whatever you're doing and let Him be the one to grow you. And He will. It may not be on your timetable, but, but He will. So use God's example. If someone is not faithful, be willing to take them out of that spot. If they are faithful, give them more and wait until you see that faithfulness. Please take a moment, go to rockchurchnd.com or scottjcruz.com or those same addresses for Facebook and Twitter to get a hold of us there. And most of all, I hope to see you in church on Sunday. We are at West Acres Cinema at 10 a.m. every week now and you will see our little church service developing over the next little while into something that looks like a real church service. And so I just want to invite you to that. May the Lord richly bless you.